Hello once again, dear audience. Uh, today we start once more the Ocarina of Time 3DS randomizer, but we have something new coming up. As you can see on the title screen, it's now the 4K enhanced version, and also it runs at 60 FPS, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. Um, it was made by the awesome Henrico Magnifico. I'll link down below his uh, Patreon, uh, the, his website, everything. You can check it out. He did a great job. He's also part of the uh, Majors Rask restoration project and also for the uh, Ocarina Style version where he does like HUD changes. So the game basically plays like the original N64 version without the use of the touchscreen. So you could probably mod it onto a Switch and then just play it on one screen. Pretty cool. So let's uh, start once again. We left off last time in the forest temple. So let's go ahead and start there. As you can see, it runs way smoother. The graphics are also way better. So let's go. I gotta say, this plays a lot faster. And I'm loving it. I don't feel the need to actually be jumping like all the freaking time. So this this is actually pretty cool. Uh, there's a school tool out there. That's cool. And I think this chest normally houses a key. Just seventeen. I'm loving how how smooth everything moves now. To be a little bit closer. It, this just plays a million times better in my opinion. Uh, we get the broken Goron sword, which we can fix going to the big Goron. So that's pretty good. Uh, if it acts the same way as it does with the Kukus, it might change into the big Goron sword. Which would be very good if this one actually breaks. So let's hope that doesn't happen. I mean, these things have like a likelihood of breaking after like five attempts. <laughs> okay, we have the little ghosties here. So I don't have the song of time. But I can actually just shoot this one. Yeah, but let me let me do the normal route first. Uh, there's the skull top. Yeah, I was trying to find this one. So after this dungeon, we can probably also do the. Um, the 20 Skultala rewards. Wow. Please don't. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. I didn't want to break it on this guy, but okay, at least we still have a weapon. God. Ah, uh, right in front of these guys as well. Mm. At least I have half damage. We get the other one. I think they regen if you, like, if you don't kill them fast enough, they just uh, come back alive. So you want to damage the one first. Come on, there you go. That's the one. Yeah, so he doesn't disappear. Oh, he did. Okay, it might be the other ones which should come back. There we go. And I think this is usually the compass. Or something. Might be a key. It is a key. And it's a green key, because uh, I color coded the keys. That's fun, right? Uh, there's an option to change the 
you you change the, the the spawn location of the keys to randomize them. So potentially a key for the Force Temple can pop up in the, the Dongo's cavern or like anywhere really. Which is somehow I really don't want to go right now. Because as you might understand, that would be too much. And I don't want to be spending like 40 hours on this randomizer. How fun it would be. It's not something I can realistically do. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, another Skultula. It's gonna be our 19th one. Uh, there's also a well there, which we can we can do the well uh, because we have the iron boots, so we can kind of cheese our way to the other side. That's why I was like, oh, let me go this way. Oh, oh no! Should go a little bit more to the side. There we go. Another key. Yeah, so we wanted to get this key. Because I think you need two or three keys to actually be able to... To go to the... Um, can I not just climb up here? Or do I not have enough... Range? Maybe from the very bottom? Yep, can't make it. So... Iron Boots it is. Look how beautiful those textures look. Yeah, I really don't care. I cannot grab the chest yet, I have to drain the water first. Uh, I think I can jump to that ledge, actually. No, you cannot, for sure. Um, you might be able to hook shot, Or did they remove that in the trigger? I think they removed it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, I don't want to do that. So I just want to... Shoot these real quick. Pew pew. And climb up. And I think there's a switch. Yeah, yeah, so when you get through this door, there's a switch. Yeah, yeah. This is another one of those. Oops. Blue bubbles. Which I can just shoot with the arrow. Whoa. That was an interesting camera angle. <laughs> Look how detailed the chest is, though. Like, it, it looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so I think we're pretty safe on keys now. Um, there's another skull over there. Wait, I just went the wrong way. Dang it. Gotta grab the hook shot. We just hook shot to the little thingy over there. We hit the switch. The water drains. Let me just let me just get down. We can grab the chest below here, which is Probably not gonna be a key. Because then I think I already would have finished all the keys if I did, it, did get a key here. Ah, oh, it would be nice. It is a key. Okay, so we got four keys. I think I'm done with all the keys now. Already. 
That's really good. Uh, and I somehow want to get the school to load though. Yeah, it's over there. Now I have to, I have to wait a little bit before I can get there. Uh, yeah, so I cannot get back this way. I might as well just go down. I think this is slightly faster. Here's the door, here's the door. And we can start entering... Yeah, these areas with the key. Bump it to you, thank you, chat. And there we go. Um, yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember. So you push these blocks in a certain way. Then you can push it here, you can actually climb on top of it, because it falls in this little gap here. Yep. Uh, but first you want to climb up. Yeah. Climb up, and then there's this... Uh, shoot the eye thingy on the right if I yeah it's here so let me shoot this yep that's a it's the boss key great um, then I will need the compasses left and the map do I have the map I don't have the map right I don't have the map no no I just have the the boss key. Okay. I think now you have to yeah, now you have to climb up. Push it further. Cause now we can climb up here. Yeah, Link is so tall. Look at those jumps he's making. I can push this thing. Set the next gap. We can just climb once again. And this is just a quick way down. Um... Yeah... Let me do this first. Because I think that one actually leads you out. And I don't think I need any more keys, so I'm pretty safe, I think. Uh, good, he didn't spawn there. Yep. Now we should spawn here. Peep, 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 peep. I'm gonna shoot you. And that's it. Can you actually see them with the lens of truth? Let me let me try. You cannot see them with the lens of truth, that's just a scam. These, these guys just work totally different. 
Such a scam. Yeah, because you're not supposed to have the Lens of Truth at this point. Look, look at the sprite on the Lens of Truth, though. That looks just so pretty. Like, really detailed. I love it. I have two more arrows, so please just die. One more? I don't know if I can hit you without arrows, though. There we go. That's good. <laughs> oh, and... And the chest. And what's it gonna be? Okay, so let me explain. Real quick. It may look like the game is ending. It's not. Trust me, it's not. Instead, um, it's triggering this cutscene because we got all the eight. Um, we got all the eight Triforce pieces. We need to collect eight out of sixteen. This will give us the Ganon's boss key, which is required to cross the Rainbow Bridge. To spawn the Rainbow Bridge, we need all six medallions. All right. It's gonna trigger the ending cutscene now, which I'm gonna skip. So I'll see you guys in a little bit because I don't want you to wait for like what 15 minutes. I'm not sure, like 10 minutes. I think the the cutscene is. I don't want you guys to wait all the time. So I'm gonna play through this and I'll turn back to recording when it's finished. So see you in a bit. Welcome back, dear audience. And we just got Ganon's key. Uh, not sure if you can actually see it somewhere. No, you can't. Uh, so the game just awarded me with Ganon's key. Which uh, I can use to... Uh, unlock the... What do you call it? I can unlock the... Um, the door on the rainbow bridge so like when there's the rainbow bridge spawns when we have all six medallions uh, explaining it again uh, we have all six medallions then the game will force me to have the Ganon's key which we do have now and this allows me to get into the Ganon's tower and without it we will not be able to enter the the final dungeon. So we needed the eight tries for pieces, and I was not gonna let you sit here for ten minutes, um, for ten minutes, and then be like, "Yeah, this guy's just talking about random stuff," you know. I, I already do that, but at least I show gameplay to keep you entertained. <laughs> so um, I didn't want to do that to you. Also, we're like five hours in. Uh, which is a little bit too soon to show you the end credits of the game, right? I don't want to finish the game right there. Uh, for the Stealthos, I might just want to do some cheat strats. Uh, which is, I first I'm going to use my blue potion. Because I will die very quickly. Also, I completely forgot the turn on the 60 FPS. I'm sorry about that. Uh, we grabbed the Deku Nuts. Because they are weak to... Uh, they can be stunned. They can be stunned. And because they can be stunned... We can easily cheese a win out of them. Because they hold up their shields. We don't really have a way to counter that with the broken Giant's Knife. So what I'm gonna do is we have this guy. So wait till he's a little bit closer, because like he's floating, he's cheating. Or we just like smack him like this. Oh. Come on, uh, my good sir.
that's the one. Platform drops. And because the platform drops, we can no longer fall down, but these guys are very annoying. There we go. Just jump attack you. I'm gonna switch over to the other one for a bit now. Just clear him off. See how much damage they do? I think this is like one of my most hated rooms in the entire game. Look how he's just waiting with his stupid ass shield. One more hit. There we go. And if you don't kill them fast enough, they revive again and you have to do the fight all over again. So it's just... Like, I think this is my top one just most annoying fight in the game. Like, really. At least we get some Deconauts back, right? And here we have the second of the... of the paintings, and now at least we have full... Uh, we have a full quiver. Pew. Oh, oops. That's the one. Is he gonna spawn behind me? No, he's gonna spawn at the bottom. Yep. Now he's gonna spawn behind me. He cannot run anymore. Are you gonna fight at the bottom? And this is where we needed the final key. Uh, which we can probably skip, actually. But I usually think you get like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you get something else. Which is required for the final section. Yeah, there's another another spinny hallway, I think. Yeah, yeah. Come on. One more, I think. Oh, one more. Like, again, th this entire dungeon is just you waiting till you can hit the enemy. There we go. Just, like, at least they're not as bad as the, um, the stealth post, but dang. Just the waiting and the stuff. Uh. Yeah, so there we have the map. Yeah, what's to be expected, right? Uh, I think we have the flaming room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this does nothing. Yeah. And now, the funny thing is, now these guys are like small, right? Oh dang, I'm missing a key though. Dang, I should have, I should have done a flippy around them. At the earlier section. Eesh. That's too bad. Go to go all the way back. And clear the other section first. See, I was missing one more key, so you need five keys for this dungeon. Yeah, that's on me. All the way back. Quickly try and shoot it. Just this annoying. There we go. Now it untwists. I I do love this mechanic though, and I'm pretty sure they just load in two different rooms. Don't fall down. 
The hover boots. Very cool. Very cool indeed. I have to beat these guys. Yeah, so now we can finally get the skill to learn. Then I'm pretty sure that the annoying hand thing is the part that's gonna get me a key. Be very careful, I don't want to fall down and then have to do the entire part again. That'd be terrible. Is this Skiltula 20? It is 20. Very good. So now we can do the 20 check as well. And I'm pretty sure we'll be exiting uh, the episode today at the... Um... Yeah, I hate this guy. It dies in two hits. And then, what do I want to do? I think I want to use like a... A good item? What do I have? Probably just want to shoot him. Yeah. Because if they turn green, after a little bit they turn green. And they grow to a f big hand. And you just lose. <laughs> you have to do it again. I was stuck here as a kid. I wasn't fast enough. And I would just like, I shoot him. Yeah. So that's the final key. But unfortunately, we cannot get back up yet, so we have to continue this path again. So we get here. Lucky for us, we can just walk out like so. Uh, and basically, we just need to clear out the green ghost now. And after the green ghost, we do the purple ghost, and then we do the final little section, where I think it's also at least one hidden skill to law. So we're gonna exit the dungeon at about 21. Pretty cool. Because I think the every 10 or something might skip, it might skip 40, actually. I mean, you can say what you want about this dungeon, but it's still pretty damn unique that they basically allowed you to take like two or three paths within the same rooms. I think that's really interesting. I think it's just a very interesting mechanic, yeah. What can I say? No drops. I do really, really want some arrows, though. Oh. I think in the Master Quest there's like a hidden wall behind it. Yeah, so... big jump. Ah, dang. Well, at least now we have the key, though. We still need a compass. Um, not sure where we do find the compass, though. Oh, this is the fire room. Yeah, I remember this one. Um, also, no... Oh, there are some paths. Uh, also, I'm gonna cheat this. Obviously. Why take effort? Right? Why take any effort when I can just do this? Flame on! There's no ladder. Oh, here's a ladder. Like, how do I get back out? Jump. Jump. I hate waiting, okay? Uh, and now these guys are still small. I was thinking, like, he turns big, but that might be the other one. Um, there is another room here. I think... Yeah, this just goes back normally. 
Yeah, yeah, so we go down here, just the little holy thing. And I think this brings me back to the main room. No, this brings me back outside. Yeah, yeah. So I don't care about this part. I'm not sure why I put this in here to just allow you to get out quickly or something. But why? Because you, I think you can get out the other way as well. Because you exit out the main room. Oh yeah, there's another chest here. I can make it. I did. Let me open the chest, please. Let me open the chest. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oops. Sure, I don't mind a piece of art. Yeah, so this is the... Puzzle room. And I think I have enough arrows to clear him. Uh, he also didn't start out too hard. You now we just push this part here. Push this part a little bit back. Choop, choop. I'm not sure where the final part is supposed to go. Because it's not part of the original sprite though. Yeah, so it doesn't matter where you put the last one, though. Again, we have to wait. That's all this game is about, waiting. At least it looks pretty now, right? T take in all these beautiful graphics in the 60 FPS. I'm, um... I'm imagining 60 FPS by using the... Uh, lossless scaling uh, application, which is a paid application, mind you. Uh, but I think there are some ways to get it for free. But I mean, the creator is pretty awesome. He made this great tool, so don't just... Uh, please support him. It's a very lightweight tool and it can actually help you turn games into 60 FPS. And also upscale the graphics quite a bit. So, you know, all the more reason to support this amazing guy. I'll put a link down in the description as well. I think there's a Steam page. At least that's where I got it from. Alright, well, we're almost done. At least. Yeah, for some reason, this last guy is like... Scared or something? I don't know what's his deal. Maybe he's sad. Um, the one that's actually the one, it spins. So it's not that one. I think it's the last one here. Hey, stop it, stop it, stop it. Cute, there we go. So they spawn in. And one of them they spin. So this one, that's the one. It's very easy once you get the hang of it. So again, that one spins, we just get it. And before when I was younger, I would just shoot them all until I realized that you can actually just do this and it's way easier. <laughs> And that's it. And I don't think Phantom Ganon actually needs that many hits. He might need like four hits with the arrow or something. Yeah, we stood on top of the thing. Aw, oh, I think that's so cool. Um, we still need a compass though. Yeah. I'm not sure what the optimized solution here is, so just gonna spin like a full circle. This we get a chest here, which is probably the um 
Oh, it's a red rupee, sure. I was thinking it's gonna be the compass. Maybe the boss drops the compass, that can also happen, you know? Uh, I just moved it back. And I'm an idiot, so... Yeah. Did I? Did I do? No, I didn't. I, I, I did it a good way. It's okay. Okay, once more. Um... Skultola? No, no Skultola yet. Yeah. So now I can move this one back. Oh, I can see a little chest there as well. Which is the one we did before. Right, so we can get this one out of the way. Once more for the skill to lie, I think. And then once more for the uh, final door. Ah, I might have missed the skill to lie. Are you in this room? Yeah, you are, you sneaky little... Sneaky little Skultula. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it, actually. For some reason, it didn't want to let me open the door. But, you know, I, I don't have the compass, right? No, I don't have the compass, actually. So, probably Ganon drops it here? Or did I miss a chest? I don't think so. Um, also, fun fact. I'm not sure if it was like this on the N64 version, but you can hear, at least I can hear on my headphones. Where he's coming from. Uh, because usually there's like two or three Ganons walking around. So it's the middle one. I mean, you could see it, but like, I can hear him again. It's still the middle one. It's right. It's this one. And that's it already for this phase. So we only needed like three arrows. Pretty easy. Uh, now we're going to play some tennis with a very short broken sword. Um, great. And we do pin. Let me also do something fun. And let me get the freaking light arrow. Oh. I wanted to hit him with a light arrow. See if that did any big damage. If it doesn't, I'm just going to... Gonna continue slashing the knife thing. Ouch. Bap, bap. Once more, there we go. That deals damage. Not as much as I hoped, but sure. I think once more. Oh, great. Ah, so he's one hit short. Does the light arrow stun him? Not sure. Play some more tennis. Oh, come on. How many hits do you take, dude? Bap, 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 bap. I swear I hit that. Maybe because the this shorter range on the giant's knife, which is messing me up. 
Yeah, it's definitely the shorter range. Ah, just one hit. <laughs> So he gives me a heart container, which is probably the compass. I think. It is the compass. See? So what's the medallion gonna be? I really hoping the master sword. Uh, Reckon Sword, that's a great item. That's a really good one. Uh, where do I want to go? I think I want to go to. Let me do Prelude of Light because I want to go to Kakariko first. And then, because I want to do the... Wow. What did... Why did I get this? Is it because Zelda is now kidnapped or something because of the thing? I mean, sure, I'll take a pre decker shield, but... You know, I would have taken something else. Equally fine. Um, I can do the Great Fairy. Actually, we can do the Great Fairy now because I have the silver gauntlets. So, as you can see, there's no uh, rainbow bridge yet, uh, so I can't actually enter, but if I could enter, I also have the key now, so I can. Hello, there's another Skultula. Skultulas have never been so valuable. Bump. I just love throwing these things around. I cannot grab it. I need the gold ones. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yep. Nope. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to Kakariko and then we go to the Spirit Temple. Which I can also do because now I have to reckon with I can do this shell thing as well. So there might be something in Gerudo Fortress. But I don't have to. But there's quite some items I can check. Which I should. Wow. And I can do quite a big chunk of the Spirit Temple, I think. Because I do have the items and all. What do you have to say? Don't care. Second guy, what do you have? Mm -hmm. 
Where's the, the third one? How much do you need? 50. 30. 40. Yeah. So probably 30, 40, 50, and then 60 or 100, I'm not sure. Um, let's do once again Prelude of Light go into Child Link and then I mean we can do the Bolero of Fire so we can do like the, the Fire Temple very good but actually I want to do Child stuff first because Link is already kind of like he's already settled so as adult link, I can do a bunch of stuff, but for child link, I cannot really do a lot. So let's try and go. I'm sure if this works inside the building. Uh, it does. Yeah. Great. And I'm pretty sure there is a bombable wall. Also, there should be a magic bean spot, which we can also do. Yeah, yeah, so there's a bombable wall here. Guys, please don't. Uh, so we grab a bomb, throw it. There we go. And we get another heart container. Sure. Sure. I should learn to play this on guitar. Uh, there it is. I really want to learn it on guitar though. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, chuck. There we go. Slingshot, because I'm definitely gonna need it, and the Deku stick. Um, also, I should equip my Deku shield as well. So she's gone uh, already, too bad. But if I go out, I will get an item. It's just a recovery heart, okay, cool. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Not, not again, not again, not again, no, 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 no. Oh, not again, my good sir. No, I just got my shield again. I'm not letting you ruin it again. Yep. Let me, let me hit you. Let me hit you. There we go. Uh, and you just want to get hit by a bomb, I guess. <laughs> I love how the cuckoo looks, the cuckoo sprite. Chick. Uh, one more hit. No, that was already enough. Yep. Yeah. Unlocks the door here. Um... Yeah, the middle one needs a key. 
Yeah, and I don't have the... I also don't have a boomerang. But I think you can climb the wall. I think you can actually climb the outer side of the wall there. I hope. Because I don't have the boomerang still. Oh, you are so annoying. I'm just gonna bomb your ass, though. It's two hits. That's gonna be three. And that's four, and that's five. Thank you for your service. Um, I don't have a boomerang. So what am I gonna do? Uh, throw a bomb, I guess. A little bit later. Whoop. Still a bit later, a bit to the side. Alright, um, uh, um, I am the greatest sniper the world has ever seen. <laughs> you hate to see it. This one isn't so bad, actually. The thing is, you cannot really damage that one. But what you can do is just shoot... ...and he stands in the fire there. Yeah. Like, you could also just hit the switch with your sword and then quickly run, but this is just way easier. Uh, stupid bats. This from no, yeah, that one is from f on fire, which is my biggest enemy. Oh no, and we also have a a grabby guy. A grabby guy. No, not grabby guy. Okay. And this is the last one. There we go. We fall down. We... Actually, I want to hit you. And the other one as well. Just so I'm safe. Then I'm grab the deco stick. Which is now on fire. Light the two torches real quick. Yeah. Quickly shoot these annoying bats. Yep, yep. I, I told you. Let me hit you. Thank you. This has to be a key. The song, this is great. Uh, but that also means I have to go adult link. To clear this dungeon. So that's really too bad. Uh, let me... Yeah, this works. Oh, I'm so happy here. You don't understand how happy I am. Uh, we also have a bunch of grottos now, which we can check out. Whoops. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna exit. I am gonna exit this dungeon. Safe outside, so starting Kakarika in the Kiwi Forest. And next time, you can do a bunch of the Song of Strong Grottos. Which there are quite a few, which I can do as Child Link. Then I can do the bottom of the well as Child Link as well. And then we return as Adult Link. Alright. Alright, so I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the 4K graphics look pretty cool. There are some minor glitches. The 60 FPS is also great to play as. So I'll put all the links in the description down below. If you did like the video, don't forget to subscribe and comment down on the video or just put a like, whatever, I don't care. Um, hope to see you next time. Bye!